Envelopes in LiveRoute really neat. I'll show you a couple of uh, techniques how to use envelopes. Let's start with two loops, a kick and a drum loop. Now we're going to change the drum loop just by changing the length of the loop itself. That way we create new patterns. We can also make them short and odd size and this way create interesting polyrhythmic patterns. Or what we could do is to actually move the starting point of the loop and that way create new patterns in the same loop. You could also transpose the whole loop going up, for instance. We could transpose it down, and that way create new sounds. You could also transpose using the envelope, and that's the interesting part. You could just paint along the timeline the pitch. You could go up, for instance, along the timeline, and down, and so on. Usually I like very extreme pitches going up and down, that way I get some very interesting effects. You could also change the volume in the timeline. Here I used the paint tool with command B and now I could paint out sections of the envelope loop sections. And that way I could get very kind of gated effects, which are nice in some cases. Another technique is actually going and look at the different warp modes and use envelopes for those. This is pure experimentation. Some might like it and some not. So it's up to you. And changing flux and different values using the envelopes along the timeline. So sometimes you could get some really strange sounds, totally unexpected ones. This, this is pure experimentation. You never know what's happening when you change these envelopes with warp mask. Okay, let's pan also with the envelope. So this way you could pan the source from left and right along the timeline. Just by dragging these kind of envelope lines. So these are a couple of examples showing how to use envelopes in live.